Ibra Kabu Nati, Ewa Ahmadu Sunuk's General Secretary. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, good morning. Okay. Um, what is Nukes doing with regards to the uh, outbreak of uh, or spread of meningitis in some of the senior high schools in the country? I learned you are embarking on a move, uh, a form of intervention. Can you tell us a bit about that? Okay, and um, once again, good morning. Life have gone down the drain because of the sudden outbreak of swine flu and meningitis. Um, we from the National Union of Ghana students want to extend our heartfelt condolences to the families um, involved and also to the country and the authorities of the various senior high school. I think it's clear that Ghana, it's, it's morning, uh, morning, more importantly, it's future leaders, those we are supposed to critical attention of their health in order to make sure that we have a healthy future as you know a country and it's, it's, it's sad and it's a sudden event and unexpected it however we have to be you know, proactive and, and react properly to the issue that we find on our hands and, and as as we speak the virus is traveling and we from the national union of Ghana students had some intel about some information from the World Health Organization on the case, which suggests that the virus was made to travel. So in the first place, there was a uh, breach in containment protocol. Because, sure, when you look at the, um, uh, when the case broke in the Kumasi Academy Senior High School, the students were conveyed to Kumbanochi Hospital. Now, um, another case is that we've had instances where health officials delayed Others who did not take, you know, um, observe proper safety precautionary measures. And so it has led to the virus traveling. And that's how come we had a chain of deaths and every now and then students dying. We from the National Union of Ghana students have been educating parents. Uh, we traveled to uh, Kufuri to a second year technical where we had a, sus a suspected case. Um, and our view and our, you know, education we have in that side is the fact that there's no superstition. As some parents allude this whole thing to, it's actually science. And because the virus has been easier to make to travel, regrettably, we are expecting more of such cases of, you know, people contracting the disease and all that. And that as well has informed one of our reactionary measures of launching what we call the emergency intervention program against the spread of the swine flu. Okay, so um, Mr. Kabunetti, what is this emergency intervention measure you're talking about? Yes, yeah, so the first phase is we are deploying about 480 health graduates um, under our health block, NASAC, um, to the various uh, senior high schools and then communities around these uh, campuses. Collaborate, I mean, discuss dialogue with um, health professionals and to identify certain you know, um, instances that is likely to fuel the spread of the disease and also to see how we can help in the health challenges of the schools. Mind you, um, it's, it's just the swine flu and meningitis that has um, reviewed some of the challenges we have in our various schools. This year in particular, regrettably, we have a lot of congestion in our senior high schools. We've also um, you know, observed and actually recorded data on the fact that they have bed, um, they have bats, you know, bed bugs in their various um, hostels or, um, you know, dormitories, and this is not good for the health of the students. And so, and um, this is just a wake up call. And so, if this is a, a, a health program that is to help the schools and especially the um, clinics, their infirmaries, on how to handle one such cases because of the symptoms and the signs. In um, Kofuridia Secondary Technical, when we went, one of the issues that led to the gentleman's death, the boy's death, was that he hit the sickness from authority. Why? Because I feel the students do not have trust uh, in the authorities and the people that they are taking care of. I think that we, the National Union of Ghana, should be able to speak to them and ask with them to have confidence that, one, if you see any of these signs in your or anyone quickly report and this signs. And so we are going with flyers and to be able to distribute to the students. We, we are well aware that some are going on vacation, but that is where the program is not necessarily targeting only student health. Its impact will be reduced and limited. We are going out to 
being able to speak to the youth in the community, interacting with the health professionals in the various clinics on the challenges they are facing there. Because, as I said, this is just a wake up call. We have serious health issues in our various SHS, which we should use this opportunity to, to uh, self awaken ourselves and also help. Okay, so uh, you're saying that you have your volunteers on the ground as we speak. Is that the case? So we are deploying them on as you see there's a recruitment ongoing. We are also um, writing letters for dialogue and then consultations from the various stakeholders in the Ministry of Health. Okay, now you, you talked about you talked about uh, being proactive or proactivity. Don't you think this is a bit belated, especially as uh, the students are about to go on vacation, even though you mentioned that uh, the whole program is not targeting only students, but don't you think it's a bit belated? Not, not, um, certainly not. I feel that it's an emergency and emergency sometimes you don't really plan for them. What you must do is try... But, but this isn't the first time the country or senior high schools are experiencing such outbreaks. So, uh, don't you think you could have been much more proactive in that regard? Admittedly, but if you also look at the peculiarity of this case, that um, we've not had it on mass, you know, death rates like this, where um, concurrently we have this issue other you know, senior high schools. Yes, we do have congestions, which this year is, is being characterized with a, a new level of you know, um, you know, congestion. And so the case is yes, and one that one may admit that it's been happening or it has happened before, but the, the great or the extent with which it's happening is an emergency. And so NBC, it comes back to how we can have ready access to data collection or data in terms of our you know, senior high schools. And this is one of the uh, the idea of this initiative, mm. connect data. Let's look at the number of students who are likely to suffer from this. Let's look at the cases that are going to be recorded and all that. And we are not only doing this just for you know, helping the situation or complementing the efforts of government. We want to come out with a document that is going to speak to these issues yearly. And so it's going to be used like a template where, for instance, next year we can predict that getting to the rainy season, or when we have huge intakes in our senior high schools. These are the things that happened last year, which was documented by the National Union of Ghana Student. And so let's work towards it before it gets out of hand. And so this, as we all agree, is an emergency. And that's why we need a concerted effort, a collaboration between sector players, and, you know, and we've also petitioned you know, international bodies that should they get critical, then they should be able to help the situation out. And so, it's, we are calling on all, you know, corporate, and we're calling on corporate Ghana, and media Ghana, and the ministries as we are in talk with parliament, as we petitioned to, to all come together to collaborate with the union in doing this, because if we don't have a data point to some of these likelihoods, then we are going to have a reaction emergency every now and then, which you and I agree that sometimes is not the best. Okay. Very well. I think we end it here and then uh, possibly talk to you again when uh, they are finally deployed. Right, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you. So that was uh, Mr. Kabu Nate. He's a uh, NUC's uh, general secretary uh, talking about the National Union of Ghana Student. They are trying to complement government and the Ghana Health Services efforts uh, in helping to put uh, a stop or to control the outbreak of meningitis, which has become more or less like an annual thing, especially in the senior high schools.